director here along with uh, Kate McKelly, who's the director, also my youngest daughter. And uh, Kristen McCown, also is assistant director. And tons of people helped out with this. They're all listed, hopefully, in your program. We want to thank each and every one of them. We're all volunteers here at the Holly. And we run on volunteers. No volunteers, no Holly. So if you'd like to become involved, uh, please see someone uh, that looks like they're uh, important here. Like a Holly badge on, you see me, whatever. You also go online. Allocator.com is the volunteer section. You sign up and we know you from there on. And you can sign up online for events like the concession. You get free tickets and you can see a show there. So, uh, importantly, the uh, emergency exits. The way you came in, also you go out each side here and you, there's a stairway right down there. It goes right down to the back parking lot, the parking garage. And the people in the balcony to your left is the best way to go out. And you see the exit sign next to the stairway that goes right down to the stairs. Please turn off your cell phones. Put them on silent. Appreciate that. Uh, if you want to take pictures for this show, usual, but you can do that. Do not use flash photography. If you're taking a video, please go to the back. Although I don't think there's probably any seats in the back, but there are a few, I think, over on this side. So you don't disturb people behind you who are looking at the screen. We appreciate that a lot. Uh, this has been a real joy putting this on for, for you folks. Thanks to these kids. We've got 35 kids. Uh, we have one 12 year old dressed for 5 to 11. Uh, have to keep in mind that many of these kids, in addition to doing this the last couple of weeks and getting ready for this, also went through the first day of kindergarten. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, they've been great. And this is a show that was actually written for adults uh, to give to children. So this has got some vocabulary and the amount of lines is really a challenge even if the kids were older. They've done a great job learning the lines, learning the show, learning all the music, learning the cues, and learning all about theater. Most of these kids have not been in a play of any type before. This is their first experience. So, and I've already got a lot of feedback. When's the next show? When can I get to the next thing? And that's fabulous, because this is the future of, of Holly and for all the school drama departments around here. And it's so great for the kids with their own self-esteem and their own confidence. So, uh, we really, really appreciate all the parents and all the work they put in and taking all the rehearsals and all that kind of stuff. We rehearsed just Saturdays throughout the summer and a few times extra the last couple of weeks. We've got a lot of stuff coming up here at the Holly. Uh, the Spelling Bee is going to be here Thursday. Uh, we have Mulan. Disney's Mulan is going to open in a couple of weeks. That'll be a really terrific uh, show up here on the main stage. Uh, uh, Kurt Thomas concert on September the 20th. And then for the month of October, it actually trips over into November. For Halloween, we're going to have an incredible production, I am sure, of Macbeth right here on this stage. So that's terrific. Great learning experience. We've got some older kids that want to come and see Shakespeare, probably for the first time. This is a great time to do it. I think everybody will enjoy that. And then, as part of our main season, uh, we've wanted to do for a long time a musical, Irving Berlin's White Christmas. We're going to do that in the month of December for three weekends. I can tell you that is going to sell out. So if you want to get your tickets, get online and get them. We've got groups 20, 30, 40 buying tickets at a time uh, to see White Christmas. And that should be just absolutely fantastic. And in November, we're going to have a special uh, four-night run, just one weekend, uh, 13th through the 16th of November, for the Holly Endowment Fund, which is like our savings account. And uh, we're going to do Always Patsy Klein, which is a true story of uh, Patsy Klein, who's her admirer, and Patsy Klein is going to sing 27 of her songs right up here on stage for a live band. So uh, that's, those tickets go on sale, I think, August 29th. Again, we expect all four shows of that to sell out. So if you want to go see that, buy your tickets now. We also have four t-shirts left. <laughs> so we've got four, four left out there. Uh, the 15 bucks. Uh, we hope they all go. So uh, we want volunteers. We also need your money. No question about that. We're a volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit. We will prove it again this year, I'm sure. And uh, so we've got a donation box, and we've got a tip jar out there. The tip jars go all to the Holly. We have a membership program. You can see all kinds of stuff online for us. And uh, donations are, are a part of what we do here because we're trying to keep the ticket prices down. It costs about $5,000 a month to keep this building open. We don't do anything. There's insurance, utilities, and So it costs a lot of money to keep this baby going, and we really appreciate your support. And now we've saved the best show for last. Welcome all the kids from Dragon Tail.
trying to do this. It does it now. Stop, I say. Won't someone tell me where you are all going? It's the dragon man. And you best be going too. Before he takes a fancy to you. Be going. But I've only just arrived. A dragon, you say? Well, I've certainly seen my share of dragons, and it's nothing to get stirred up about. As I'm obviously a man of the world, I say I find dragons on the whole rather interesting. Begging your humble pardon, sir. But this particular dragon is not your average dark variety of dragon. No, sir, he is not. In fact, those of us who live here in Wattleywood actually fear to speak his name aloud. That's right, sir. Why, when the dragon hears his name, he appears. <laughs> Well, sir, will you promise to give a 